Hello and welcome to Low Budget Gaming and welcome to the weekly weekend sales update. So today mostly we have stuff on Steam and GOG. Uh, we already covered Humble in a video a couple of days ago, so not much else happening. Uh, there are a few stuff on uh, Fanatical as well. I'll probably mention them in a separate video. But let's get into Steam first. So we have a few free-to-play weekends, starting with Mordhau. So Mordhau is like the medieval first-person sword fighting type of game. A bit more serious version of Chivalry 2. And by the way, Chivalry 2 is on the Xbox Game Pass now. So this is uh, free to play for the next three days. It's also on a 50% sale. It has been as low as 75% off. So it's not the lowest it has got, but it's still on a decent sale. 349 here in India, $15, pounds and 12.49 euros. I'm not sure if they have servers in India or like anywhere nearby. I mean, I'm pretty sure they don't have servers in India, but usually for the Asia region, there's one in Singapore normally. Player base, is it that great here? So yeah, might be a good idea to just check it out and see if it's fun or if it's playable solo. Is it playable solo? Online, online, co-op. Yeah, if it's co-op, then I guess it's manageable. Humankind is a big uh, 4x strategy game. This is also on a uh, free-to-play weekend. It's uh, published by Sega. Three days to play this. It is also 50% off at 1,200 rupees, 25 dollars, 20 pounds. Um, it's got mixed reviews overall, which is surprising, but the recent reviews are much better. Well, not much better, slightly better. Barra Trauma. So this is an early access survival uh, type game where you are basically on a submarine in outer space, something like that. So early access still, and I've seen a few people talk about this recently. So I think there has been an update or something. So also play, free to play for the next three days. It's only 174, so not very expensive. 749 dollars, 537 pounds, and 624 euros. It's actually got more people playing than Mordhau. Also wanted to mention Warhammer 40k Space Marine Anniversary Edition. So this game is on sale. I thought I'll mention this because a sequel to this has been announced. I'm quite hyped for it. It's coming out, uh, I think, next year. Yeah, I think they haven't mentioned the year. And so this one is on sale. However, this is kind of expensive even on sale. So this game is from 2011. The original uh, developers are still around, I guess, but the publisher is different. I think there was somebody else who published this game. So it's changed hands, and they have basically jacked up the price, Sega. So 75% off, this is 749 in India, which is quite a lot for a 10-year-old game, to 11-year-old game, actually. $15, 10 pounds. It is fun though. I did play it recently because this was given away free from Humble many years ago. I had mentioned it and I played it and I enjoyed it. It's a fun game. It reminded me of the old simpler times, Xbox 360 era basically, uh, where the games were actually a lot more fun just to you know shoot stuff. So it is a good game. Um, I don't know if I can honestly recommend it at this price. It should be a bit cheaper. Now a game like this should be like $5 in my opinion at this point. Nino Kuni 2 Revenant Kingdom. This is also on a big sale. Another game that doesn't have great regional pricing, but because the discount is quite big, it is more reasonable. So 85% off, 644 in India. Base price is 4300. $9, 749 pounds and 899 euros. There's a Prince edition, which is a little more expensive. It's not even on sale, so let's not talk about it. But yeah, I have played a little bit of the original Nino Kuni. I just couldn't get used to the turn-based combat. This one, however, is like normal combat. It's not turn-based. So this might be worth a try. The Ascent is also on sale. So one of my favorite games from last year. I played it a lot, enjoyed it. And also they released a standalone campaign DLC recently. So that is also on sale. So the base game here is 67% off, 692 in India, 989 dollars, 824 pounds, 989 euros. This is a top-down isometric uh, twin stick shooter cyberpunk RPG and it's playable in co-op it's also on the Xbox Game Pass you can I believe uh, do cross play cross like you can play with friends on Xbox although I did play with a friend and we both use the Xbox version so I'm not sure but I think that it should work but yeah overall it's a fun game I even made a review for it um, so yeah, the DLC is this one, Cyber Heist. It's also on a 25% discount. Came out, I think, in July, August, actually. 
and it's got mixed reviews. I kind of want to pick this up, but I'll have to see why the reviews are mixed. Okay, I'll read about this later. Also, the Fallout games are on sale. So Fallout 76 is on a free-to-play, well, four days actually, not just the weekend. So yeah, on a sale as well, decent sale, 75% off, 624, 999, 879. I don't know how good the game is right now because overall it's gone to mostly positive. Do you remember how bad the reviews were when it first came out? Overall is mostly positive, but the recent ones are mixed. So I don't know how much it has improved. It has definitely improved a lot from what I've heard. So yeah, this would be a good opportunity to play it for free and see if it's worth buying. However, Fallout 4 is pretty decent in my opinion. And this is definitely worth buying. It's also quite cheap. So base game is only $2.49 in India, which is very good. $5, 4 pounds and 5 euros. And the game of the year edition, which is what I would recommend, is only $4.49, $10, 874 pounds. It has multiple DLCs which are included. So basically you get Far Harbor, Vault Tech Workshop, Contraption. Hang on, this should be these are New cover. This is like the actual campaign type DLC, Far Harbor. And there's this workshop. Automatron, I think, is also like a area or something. I can't remember. But there are at least two like areas that were included in DLCs. New world. Yeah, that was a big area. Um yeah, I've played this game quite a lot, completed it, made all the stuff. I even had a video where I showed off my collection of power armors and stuff like that. So I did really get into it despite it not being perfect in every sense, but it's still fun to enjoy and explore this game. So yeah, good price for $4.49 as far as the Game of the Year edition is concerned. Also, the other good news is Fallout 3 and New Vegas are finally available on Steam India. So as some of you may know, I keep mentioning this every time. These two were not available in India for some reason. They, they were like worried that people might get offended or something. Nobody actually was because I think most people don't even play the games here. But now I think with Microsoft taking over and stuff like that, they have actually made it available in India, which is great news because you can get them and they're quite cheap. So Fallout 3 Game of the Year Edition is only $141 in India. $5, $399, um, euros. Now this is very cheap. However, these, these are older games, so they may have some issues running with Windows 10, but I'm sure there are mods and stuff to fix those issues. Uh, you see. Oh, they haven't fixed it, apparently. The game does not work with Windows 11. So yeah, this is why I often mention the GOG versions, because these older games, GOG makes sure they work, and also they are DRM-free, so it takes the hassle out but if you still want it on steam and you're willing to like explore like some mods and stuff to fix the issues these are available now both Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas New Vegas is only 92 rupees for the base game which is ridiculous uh, ultimate is like five dollars which is again fair enough and the reviews here are much better also on GOG we have a bunch of sales so the GOG 14th anniversary sale is still uh, going there's still like the weekend is still left, so three days, roughly two and a half days. And there's some quite interesting games here, so I wanted to mention those. Oh, look at this. These are available here as well. Although they are a little more expensive here. Instead of the $4.99, they are $6.59. But yeah, these versions are guaranteed to work. They'll be much better to buy here. Uh, Skyrim is still on sale, the anniversary edition and the special edition. And also I've picked out a few uh, older games that I would recommend. So first up is the Legacy of Kane games. Uh, one of my favorite series and recently with the new Embracer group takeover they are thinking about it they even did a survey which I posted on Twitter asking people what they wanted so people like me I'm like a huge fan of this series uh, I bought this game new back in 2001 or something too around that time uh, never actually finished it but I kept playing and it was just beautiful the music was interesting their voice acting was amazing and you can get these for like less than a dollar now the next series, the final game in this Legacy of Kane, I had pre-ordered this, like a physical disc which came with like a big box and two uh, CDs. I've lost that box now many years ago. But this was an amazing game, only a dollar. Yeah, 2003 feels like a very long time ago, but yeah, I was really into this series. Also, back then, I was a huge fan of this guy, Hitman Silent Assassin, Hitman 2. This was like the first Hitman game I played. Back in around 2003, 
I finally had a job and some money after like finishing college. I saved up, bought a PC, and this was the first game I caught. So I went like a retailer in the UK called Game, and bought a second-hand copy of this game. And I still remember the, you know, menu music it was just awesome. So I played a lot of this game. Then a year or so later, we got Hitman contracts, and I had bought this like again full price, brand new from the shop. And I even bought a new graphics card just to play this game because I was using integrated stuff back then. And this game was a new game and it was a bit more demanding, so I had to get a new graphics card for this one. And then a couple of years later, they had Hitman Blood Money, which is arguably the best of the series, the old Hitman games. Uh, much more like the newer one where you have a bigger sandbox to play around in and multiple ways to you know, take out your targets. And all these are very cheap at only like $2. So if you are interested in exploring these old games i would recommend you try them on gog because again they are more likely to be compatible with like newer windows because that's their thing they make sure every game works on all the latest windows and also they're drm free so you can download them directly you don't need the launcher and stuff so yeah uh, great memories with these games and gog is like my place for picking up old stuff there are also like the other classics from that era, stuff like Thief games, the old Tomb Raider games, Deus Ex games, um, quite a few other games as well. There's also wanted to mention there's one other game. Um, quite a lot of games, like of course we have the Hitman here again. Hmm. Yeah, Prince of Persia. These games are also like here, all like two dollars each. So. These should be great if you are a fan or if you just want to explore the older stuff. Anyway, that's it for this uh, weekend update on the sales stuff. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.